so in this presentation we will learn about security and penetration testing throughout the presentation we will try to cover introduction to information security and security testing introduction to vulnerability scanning penetration testing and ethical hacking overview of penetration testing methodologies penetration testing steps overview of the pen test legal framework and lastly pen test deliverables what is information security information security or infosec as it is famously called is a set of strategies for managing the processes tools and policies necessary to prevent detect document and counter threats to digital and non digital information infosec responsibilities include establishing a set of business processes that will protect information assets regardless of how the information is formatted or whether it is in transit is being processed or is at rest in storage infosec programs are built around the core objectives of the cia triad or cia triangle maintaining the confidentiality integrity and availability of it systems and business data there are different categories which deal with the different aspects of information security starting with computer security network security web application security code review threat modeling forensics and also security best practices we'll discuss each in detail in the upcoming videos for now we'll just try to understand the security and penetration testing as a whole what is security testing well security testing is a process intended to reveal flaws or vulnerabilities also known as loopholes in the security mechanisms of an information system that protect data and maintain functionality as intended due to the logical limitations of security testing passing security testing is not an indication that no flaws exist different scanners are used to accomplish this goal through different means some may look for signs such as registry entries in microsoft windows operating systems while others may actually exploit the vulnerability of network devices or web applications now let's talk about penetration testing well penetration test simulates an attack by a malicious party building on the previous stages it involves exploitation of found vulnerabilities to gain further access using this approach will result in an understanding of the ability of an attacker to gain access to confidential information affect data integrity or availability of the service and the respective impact each test is approached using a consistent and complete methodology in a way that allows the tester to use their problem solving abilities the output from a range of tools and their own knowledge of networking and systems to find vulnerabilities that would or could not be identified by automated tools this approach looks at the depth of attack as compared to the security assessment approach that looks at the broader coverage well an ethical hacker is a computer and network expert who attacks a security system on behalf of its owner seeking vulnerabilities that a malicious hacker could exploit and this is the only reason why it is known as ethical hacking because hacker has the consent of the application owner and it attacks a security system seeking vulnerabilities that a malicious hacker could exploit using the same techniques just like what adversary uses now let's try and understand the need of security and penetration testing cyber attacks are getting more and more complex so you need all the help you can get Penetration testing also called pen testing looks deeply into your business to see how vulnerable it is to hackers. It goes far beyond ordinary security assessments or compliance audits. Here are some of the ways that pen testing stands apart. It does not merely expose weaknesses. It simulates real world attacks to show how your sensitive data, business systems, financial assets and employees would fare in the event of the real thing. It tests your system's ability to detect breaches whether internal or external when they occur cyber criminals rarely target individual security tools instead they look for gaps between tools that don't work specially well together an in-depth pen test uncovers these gaps it is completely unbiased sometimes a fresh set of eyes reveals vulnerabilities that were overlooked it ensures that your company is in full compliance with the new data breach notification law These are some of the essential terminologies that are used in and around information security industry. Threat. A threat refers to the hypothetical event wherein a hacker uses the vulnerability. 
the threat itself will normally have an exploit involved as it is a common way hackers will make their move. Vulnerability, also known as the weaknesses in an application or a loophole in a web application or a network. Target of evaluation, it could be anything ranging from a web application to a network, mobile application to a firewall that needs to be evaluated or assessed for security. Exploit, an intelligent set of threats are known as exploit or a combination of exploits that are targeted against a set of web applications or a network asset. Continuing with the essential terminologies, hacker. A hacker refers to a person who enjoys learning the details of computer systems to stretch his or her capabilities. Cracker. Cracker refers to a person who uses his hacking skills for offensive purposes. Hacking. Development of new programs and techniques to break into that program in order to gain access. A penetration tester refers to a security professional who applies the hacking skills for defensive purposes, not for offensive purposes. There are five phases which refer to each primary step in the process of operating a penetration test and the concept is critical for a new entrant into the field. Here is a brief overview of the five phases of penetration testing. The first phase is reconnaissance. Well, reconnaissance is a preparatory phase and it is the act of gathering preliminary data or intelligence on your target. It is also known as information gathering can be performed actively, meaning that you are directly touching the target or passively, meaning that your reconnaissance is being performed through an intermediary. The second phase in penetration test is scanning or vulnerability scanning. This phase of scanning requires the application of technical tools to gather further intelligence on your target. But in this case, the intel being sought is more commonly about the systems that they have in place. A good example would be the use of a vulnerability scanner on a target network. The third phase is gaining access. Well, this phase refers to the penetration testing phase. Here, the pen tester exploits the vulnerability in the system and analyzes the results identified during the scanning phase. Gaining access requires taking control of one or more network devices in order to either extract data from the target or to use that device to then launch attacks on other targets. Now, fourth phase is maintaining access. It is that phase where the pen tester tries to retain his or her ownership of the system. Maintaining access requires taking the steps involved in being able to be persistently within the target environment in order to gather as much data as possible. The attacker must remain stealthy in this phase so as to not get caught while using the host environment. The final phase of covering tracks simply means that the attacker must take the steps necessary to remove all semblance of detection. Any changes that were made authorizations that were escalated, etc., all must return to a state of non-recognition by the host network's administrators. The examples will include steganography, tunneling, altering log files. A pen tester must watch out for such kind of activities on the systems. And the reasons will include the need for prolonged stay, continued use of resources, removing evidences of hacking. If a hacker wants to get inside your system, he or she will, and there is nothing you can do about it. The only thing you can do is to make it harder for the adversary to get in. Now let's look at the activities that a penetration tester is supposed to do. Penetration tester or a pen tester tries to answer the following questions. What can the intruder see on the target system? And this is covered under reconnaissance phase and scanning phases. Next is, what can an intruder do with that information? Now this will be covered under gaining access phase and maintaining access phase. And lastly, does anyone at the target notice the intruder's attempts or successes? Pen testers using both software applications and manual methods start by doing a little reconnaissance or information gathering. They gather information about your business from the perspective of it being the potential target of a hacker. They then identify vulnerable entry points. Finally, they attempt to break into your system and they report back to how successful they were. Remember, 
that pen testers are the good guys. These type of attacks, sometimes called white hat attacks, are highly educational. Now since we are done with the phases of penetration testing, lastly take a look at the overview of the pen test deliverables. The main deliverables is basically a pen test report or an execution report or also known as a technical report. It must include the list of your findings in order of highest risk, analysis of your findings, conclusion or explanation of your findings with log files, screenshots, evidences. It must also include mitigation measures or remediation measures for the findings. You can also include log files from tools or the automated tools that provide supporting evidence of the findings. It must also include executive summary of the organization's security posture, name of the tester or the engineer and the date testing occurred. It is also recommended to include any positive findings or good security implementations. So this was about the basics of security and penetration testing. We hope that you learned a little something from this effort of ours. To keep on exploring, log on to our site www.qinfotech.com.